Hello everyone, July the 20th, 2014. It was back on the 17th. Three days ago, I reported on the move taking place in Grand Rapids to arrest the homeless that are on a corner holding a cardboard sign that they are hungry and they are homeless. And I said, this is going to spread. It's gonna spread like wildfire but the homeless roundup has begun. And I just be prior to that reported that in Ann Arbor, Michigan, MDOT, Michigan Department of Transportation, came in with bulldozers and wiped out an entire homeless community, their tents, their belongings, what little they had. And remember when I reported about Tent City in New Jersey, what they did, they came in with bulldozers and wiped them out the roundup has really begun but now it's attacking the very heart of my ministry Flint Michigan where I spend the majority of my time every day on a daily basis trying to meet the needs of the tired the poor the impoverished the hungry and the homeless now, Flint, Michigan is copying, it's a copycat, exactly what Grand Rapids is doing. Let me take you to this story. I apologize ahead of time, but this is the heart of my ministry. And I will not stop and I will not be moved. I will do my Father's bidding. I will do the Lord's work. And no ordinance, no one will stop me, lock me up, put me in jail, throw away the key. Here's the headline. No place for panhandlers. Flint Township considers end to roadside solicitations. And let me make one thing perfectly clear. Not everyone on that corner is looking for a fix or for a drink. They're hungry, they're tired. Tired families, little children are homeless in our society today and those that have a problem with drugs and alcohol by ministering to them and preaching to them and not giving up on them you know how many come to salvation and accept jesus into their heart remember my video on homeless day given his life to the lord on bristol road in flint michigan well if flint has its way all that will stop Flint Township, Michigan. I apologize. I'm very upset. Derek Young spends many of his afternoons in dirty clothes with his dog, silently sitting along Karuna and Miller Roads with a dusty sign asking passers-by for help. On occasion, a driver will stop and give him some spare change or a few dollars. A full day on the corners usually nets him about 30 or 40 dollars, enough money, he says, to buy food to survive and for potentially find some shelter this is not what i want to do said young you know many people i talk to on a daily basis and they are not proud of what they are doing it's what they have to do it's not what they want to do it's not something to be proud of young 29 is what flint township would consider a panhandler and a new ordinance is considering to limit roadway begging as well as solicitation by nonprofit groups why don't you bring some jobs into the city of Flint and leave the homeless alone if you would bring some jobs back into the city of Flint. There wouldn't be people on the corner hungry, entire families in a Walmart parking lot sleeping in their car. During a meeting on Monday, July 7, trustees had a first reading of the ordinance allowing the public to consider it so trustees can make a vote at its July 21st meeting. That's tomorrow. It's a matter of not being able to solicit anything in the streets or media, which they consider in the streets, and that would mean nobody. Supervisor Karen Miller said during the meeting, no one will be able to solicit funds in the street. The rule would outlaw asking for money from motors on the road. Now listen carefully. See if this doesn't remind you of the video I just put out what's taking place in Grand Rapids as well as anyone waiting in line to get into a home business or athletic facility. 
Such requests on private property could be banned by the owner, tenant, or occupant. Now, listen carefully. Also, ban this listening money within 15 feet of a public toilet facility, an automatic teller, an ATM. Sound familiar? Grand Rapids, Michigan. A payphone. Do they even have payphones any longer? Or a bus or a taxi stop. Violators be fined through a civil infraction with a fine not to exceed $500 according to the document. Clerk Kim uh, Courts worries the rules would hurt nonprofits from gathering money on the street. She was the only trustee to vote no on moving the document one step closer to becoming an ordinance. I couldn't do that. No way, she said during the July 7 meeting. Trustee Melinda Parker asked if the township could exclude charitable organizations, but Miller said any rule would have to be non-discriminatory across the board. Federal courts in recent years have ruled that panhandling is a First Amendment right, but has said it can't be regulated through local ordinances. The discussion has Chris Hamilton, executive director of the Old News Boys. That's one charitable organization that I do trust. I know. They helped when I was a child at Christmas. Very nervous because the annual holiday newspaper sale. We were poor growing up and the Old News Boys would bring us presents. Where newspapers are sold on the side of the street and in the street accounts for a major part of its donations throughout the year. I don't... Uh, <laughs> So many organizations, they do not really help, but the old news boys do. It would be counterproductive to what we try to do with our paper sales in December, he said. Quite honestly, half of the news boys' budget comes from its paper sale in December. Hamilton said it's not, he's not sure of a solution, but he doesn't think this is right. Mary Stevenson, director of fund development for Catholic Charities of Genesee and Shiawassee County said the move would have an impact on the homeless in the county, but she believes panhandlers might move. Well, let me tell you something, Mary Stevens, from the Catholic Charities of Genesee and Shiawassee County. Where are they going to move to? Wherever they did move to, or maybe it'll be like in Detroit. Why don't we, would you want to do like Detroit, Michigan does? Now they're all standing there having their water cut off, they're dying in the street, the home, that's going to make them homeless because they can't cook and they can't clean and they can't function without clean water, no sanitation. What are they going to do? What's Flint going to do? Like Detroit, round them up in police vans and just take them, dump them out of the city? I've had enough of this. I will not be stopped. I will not be moved. The heart of my ministry is Detroit, Michigan, but the heartbeat of my ministry is Flint. And I will not be moved. I will do my Father's bidding. I will do the Lord's work, and I will not be stopped. So come on after me. And you better throw away the key, because once I'm out, I'll be right back there doing what I can. Lift the city of Flint up in prayer, please, brothers and sisters. You feel led to give to our ministry. I'll put the link below. You know, it's very hard for me. Even though I live in a trailer, and I am poorer than dirt, and I live in a trailer in a trailer park. I have a place to come home to at night. The Lord has provided food in my belly and a pillow to lay my head. And even the Lord, even Yahshua, Jesus, and the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. I am so blessed. But I need to bless these people. We need to come together. I apologize. I'm just upset. Leave me comments.